Hey friend, welcome back to the van build. Today we're getting started on our floor. Super floor. exciting, because we're actually building something into the van instead of taking it out. And our floor kind of has two parts. So we're gonna start on the back. We've done a little bit of piecing together at the front, but I guess it's probably easier if we just show you. Over the last four years, I've been making adventure films out of my Sprinter van. Now, together with my wife, Janelle, we are finally giving our van the build out it deserves. so you can see what you're filming. We would have done just plywood across the whole floor. If you have a new enough van, you can actually use the original floor from it if you want to and just do flooring over top of that. Our original flooring is a little bit rotted out, so it's gotta go. Basically, the reason why our floor is complicated is because we have a bench seat. Now, these are brackets that we installed. We used a two-person transit bench seat that we got off eBay. In driving position, it's gonna be like this. So right behind the driver's seat. <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this, is <laughs> this is a good example. And most of the time it's gonna be a couch. So it's gonna be unclipped and it's gonna turn this way. So then you can sit here. And then with these two seats flipped around, we'll have like a table that can go in this general area. We're gonna have a bench seat in our van somewhere around here. So we'll talk about our layout a little bit more, but we're gonna have a bench seat in this area. So what we're gonna do is the back is just gonna be straight plywood and then our uh, flooring covering on it. We've got this nice rubber coin grip. And then in the front, have basically these brackets be flush mount into the floor. Janelle has lots of headroom. Yeah. But uh, I don't as much. Because um, basically our floor is gonna be this high. Yeah. And what's gonna go in the gaps, babe? So in between the wood framing beneath the plywood, what goes there? The insulation? Yeah, insulation, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah. Should I pass? Yeah. Um, so we have the framing of the wood, and then in between is going to be like rigid board insulation, and then on top of that will be plywood, and then on top of that will be our rubber coin grip flooring. We'll roll some footage right now when we put in these plus nuts because that's what we're going to actually be bolting most of our floor down into. Okay, can you actually get out a plus nut so we can explain what's going on here? So okay, so this is a plus nut, and there's variations on something like this, but basically this goes through a hole that we'll drill, and uh, compresses upwards and expands out to kind of mushroom effect and like pinch on the metal. In order to install these properly, the whole size you want to be perfect for these. So we got, you want to show them a nice drill bit over there? So these are the drill bits we're going to use to drill out our holes to the exact size to be putting these guys in, but we need to drill the holes and then paint them. So what's the deal with the tape? Uh, the tape is so you don't drill the hole too far and because uh, oh, so we don't really need to drill the hole that deep. So you don't hit anything that you're not supposed to hit. When you come in and do the holes, just try to make sure that the paintbrush gets down in, in the little lip there. Whatever bare steel might be showing. Okay. Give it another squeeze. Tighten the collar. Okay. Line up the hole. That's how we're gonna attach the floor. Just like that. And then that would be in multiple spots. Now the tricky part, babe, is when we actually have the plywood cut to fit here, is getting the holes for the rib nuts actually to line up with our plywood when we cut all the <laughs> That's that's going to be an art form. Uh, I'm not quite sure how we're going to tackle that quite yet. We actually made a whole video about every single tool we bought for the van build. You should check that out. Solid. First cut of the floor. Feeling good. 
And I was doing the next cut. You ready? Here we go. You're way better with the jigsaw than I am. <laughs> that was awesome. You're way more patient. You didn't follow that contour. That's perfect. That's a great cut. I will say as much as I'm not looking forward to losing height in here, having some insulated flooring in the front of the van will be very nice for cold temperature van dwelling. Or when we get three quarters inch of rigid board in there, we're gonna be grateful for that on really cold mornings when- I will be grateful. I'm always cold. Make... <laughs> okay, coming inside here, this is where we got our nice really big roll of flooring. And this. Look at that nice coin grip. Hopefully, this is gonna be super durable and easy to clean. I think it's gonna hold up pretty good against scratches because it already has like a textured finish. Look at that floor. Beauty. What do you think? Yeah, it's great. Looks like it needs to get dirty. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to see how it wears in. I think it's gonna be good. It's probably worth noting we're planning on having we're planning on having the coin grip go under the stuff we're building on the walls. But if you're doing this out of any kind of laminate or board product, you might want to build whatever you're gonna build first and then come in and do the floor afterwards. But for us, it's just one smooth product across the whole floor. Keeps it nice and easy. An empty van. Very empty. Yeah. Our layout might, make, might not make tons of sense right off the start. Like if you just see this, it might not make tons of sense but uh, we'll kind of reveal and talk about our design decisions as we get deeper into it. Mess up. No, we're doing okay. So then this piece, this piece needs to be connected from there to there. Oh baby, that's it. So a board sit flat against right there. Okay, well uh, we've got a lot of work to do in here, but we are excited. Check out the build playlist below. Drop us a comment. We love hearing from you. And then make sure to get a Life's Better When You Make Stuff t-shirt. I'm wearing mine underneath this. And remember, life's better when you make stuff. Peace. Oh, I was gonna say in the funnest part of the day, cleaning up.